I just ripped the Zerg Hydralisk out of StarCraft 2. And if you think that's cool, wait till I show you what else I've done. Hey, this is James Zatopa from Zatopa.com, and I want to tell you about something I just recently did. I went into a video game and pulled something out of it and made it real. I know this sounds crazy, but it's true. I started with Skyrim, and I was playing the game one day, and I realized, you know, everything in Skyrim is 3D. Everything's modeled, everything's an object. So if it's 3D and an object there, why couldn't it be 3D as, as an object here? So the first creature I made was a Draugr from Skyrim, and unfortunately I don't have him with me right now. Uh, I left him in my car and somehow he, he's gone missing, he's now got a life of his own. Next piece that I made was a Hydralisk from StarCraft II, which turned out like this. Now this little guy, he only took about 3-4 hours to print, but you can see the detail of the print. He has his arms, his little blades, his teeth, the carapace, everything came out really nice. Uh, this model required very little cleanup, printed almost straight out of the game. Literally, I've gone in and just ripped out a character from a video game, and now I'm holding him in my hands. I thought that this was, you know, cool, but I, think I, I thought I could do one better. I decided to, to do something a little bit larger. So I created a handyman from Bioshock Infinite. Uh, this is a much larger print. He's very impressive. Uh, it's amazing how his arms and his hands came out. Uh, the model here, though, required a lot more cleanup. The, when he was modeled, he wasn't designed to be 3D printed. So I had to close up some of the holes and, and clean up some of the details. But I think you can still see that this is a handyman from Bioshock. And this is awesome, in my opinion. Like, I literally reached into a game and pulled out a creature, and I'm holding him in my hand. Like, this is from the game directly. This is amazing. But the thing I've realized is that some people aren't going to realize how amazing this is. Because not everybody's into video games. Not everybody is thinking about merging the digital and, you know, everyday life. So... I decided to go a step further and I decided to make something that I think is even more impressive and that's this guy. This is a wall sconce from Skyrim. I reached into the video game and I pulled out a wall sconce. Now you may say why wall sconce, I mean there's all sorts of stuff like weapons and, and helmets and all this stuff that would be really cool if you were into video games. But if you're not into video games, the thought of using a, an object out of a video game to light your house is amazing. I mean think about it, you normally would go to a store, buy a, a wall sconce or a lighting piece or order it online. And you'd be stuck with a limited range of designs. I mean, now I could design my own wall sconce and make it. Or I can go into a video game and go, I like the design in this video game, and pull out this object. Uh, if this does not blow your mind, you are a very difficult person to please, and I have no idea how to help you. Because this is amazing. Think about the second generation and third generation of this technology. I mean, we'll be able to print tables and chairs and you will literally be able to think of something and have it become reality. So I got a question for you guys out there. Where do you think this will take us? Because I have my own theories and I plan on sharing them little by little. But I'd love to hear what you guys out there think. Come to the store, check it out. It's www.zatopa.com I'll post the link in the comments. Check out the blog. Add some comments if you have any questions. I'd love to hear them. Thank you.